So what is your pension and retirement plan is a question that I got in my comment section since I have started sharing to you guys about how I quit my nine to five job to become a full time content creator. Listen, in as much as I thought that question was a little bit sarcastic because it was very dry and cold, but it made me think like, you know what, this person is 100% correct. The thing is, nobody quits their jobs without a plan. Like I had shared in my previous video that this plan has been in the works for the past year and a half and I've been saving up ever since then. I will tell you one thing that I was doing to make sure that I am secured in my finances as I am deciding to quit my nine to five. So I used to take about 25% of my salary and I will put it towards what I am going to pay in taxes while I am a full-time content creator. And another 25% was going to go towards my, you guessed it right, pension fund. Basically what I was doing, I was building a foundation for my pension fund and retirement fund. However, though, I looked at myself as well as a person who is not living a fancy lifestyle where all my expensive, I ex expenses are exuberant. I am a loner. Like I said, I live by myself. I do things by myself. I hardly ever go out. I hardly ever spend any money. So I thought, listen, since I'm not spending much of my money, why don't I put it towards what I call is going to be my retirement plan or pension uh, fund uh, as I become a full-time content creator. And of course, because I'm already making money from YouTube because I have four monetized YouTube channels and they are making me money. And guess what is happening? I am taking 25% of what I earn on YouTube and it goes towards what I am paying my taxes on, uh, one of my friends here on YouTube who's also my uh, community member who's a, I think works with uh, taxes, said what I am paying is called a provisional tax. I pay twice a year. It's called a provisional tax. And I was like, yeah, that's true. It's called a, a provisional tax that I am paying. So that part I am fine. And then the other 25% of what I earn on YouTube, just like I was doing with my nine to five, goes towards my pension as well as retirement plan. And of course, as a content creator, you'll never know if you are ever going to become a multimillionaire because I have seen YouTubers blowing up and becoming multimillionaires because of their content creation. And there will come a time as well as a content creator that I am going to get brands that will approach me or I will approach brands that I want to work with and I'm going to charge them a specific amount of money or they will propose specific amount of money that I am going to work with them. And guess what? That money is going to go towards my retirement plan, is going to go towards my pension plan and of course some other monies that I'm busy thinking about other plans of investing, investing in uh, property where I am going to either rent out property or turn them into Airbnbs or some kind of business that I am going to put my money at. Probably even like an investment in a stock market portfolio, uh, some kind of portfolio in the stock market. I don't know. I am still thinking about that and I'm still researching on that as well. So it's not like I'm sitting on my laurels as a person that uh, has quit his uh, uh, full time job and I'm twiddling my thumb like and I'm more worried. Oh my goodness, what am I going to do when I turn 65? Because definitely at 65, I will not be running for comment likes and going viral on YouTube. I need to have a stable income that I know will take care of me till the day I leave this earth someday as an old, old man. So it's everything is planned out. I get your question, even though I still feel like it was really, really, really sarcastic, but it had value that, you know what, let me help anyone else that is a full time, who is full-time in their jobs and thinking, you know what? I think I'm done here. I think I really am done. I think content creation is what is calling me next. And you're worried about your retirement plan is as well as a health insurance plan because health is a very, very important. Also your house insurance, your car insurance, and all the other expenses that comes with being an adult, you worry about those things. And I am telling you that 
if you have a solid plan before you quit your nine to five it's important that you have a plan a financial plan on how you are going to uh, contribute to your insurance plan how you are going to contribute to the things that, that you are already paying or your predictable income pays on a monthly basis because listen once you become a content creator especially a full-time content creator there are no guarantees that you will always have brand deals lined up for you where you'll be making millions of dollars and also it doesn't mean that your the money that you make on social media as a full-time content creator it's always going to be the same because it goes up and down it fluctuates every single month like last month i made good amount of money i think and then i'm looking at this month's project uh trajectory it's showing that i may make almost the same as the previous month but i'm not sure what is going to be higher or lower so there is no predict predictability as a content creator especially when you're a full-time content creator so do not take that decision rash be make make sure that first before anything you are sure that your retirement plan it is planned out and also your retirement plan is also going to depend on the type of expenditure that you as an individual have and therefore you need to understand what are your retirement needs and i came across a certain article that i thought was quite interesting which it says set a retirement savings goal experts often suggest saving enough to replace 70 to 80 percent of your pre-retirement income so all of those things have been thought about by me before I took this leap of faith. I know that as a content creator here on YouTube, I do stand a good chance of making a lot of money. Whether a lot of money means hundreds of thousands of dollars or a lot of money means millions of dollars, I don't know, but the possibility is always there. You know why? Because I already seen content creators that are full-time YouTubers that are making millions of dollars. Some of them, they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars. I even told you guys that my inspiration on YouTube in the content that I create is Joshua Mayo. If you check Joshua, May Joshua Mayo's uh, YouTube channel, I do challenge you to go check him out. This year, I mean, in 2023, he made about $1.2 million. His goal was $2 million, but he was just short of $500,000. And he's been on YouTube for less than two years. So if he can do it, I believe I can do it because he kind of like do the similar content as I do here on this very channel. So I'm not saying that I am going to benchmark myself against Joshua Mayo, but I am seeing the possibilities of me also making the similar amount of money, if not more than he does. But anyways, it is all in my hands. I hold my fate in my own hands by making sure that every single week I am consistent with uploading videos that are valuable to you as the people that watch my videos. These worries, no, I don't worry about my pension or retirement plan. All I worry about is content and making sure that my future, indeed, it is secure, financially secured. And of course, I continued reading this particular article, which I want to share with you. And it says, choose the right retirement savings account. There are several tax advantaged accounts you can use to save for retirement. Each has its benefits depending on your situation. Individual retirement account, which is called also IRA, uh, which is traditional RIA, contributes to tax deductible up to a certain limit. Second one, which is called Roth IRA, contributions are made with after-tax income, but withdrawals in retirement are tax-free. Roth RLA are great when you expect your tax rate to be higher in retirement. And then you have the third option, which is solo 401k. Mostly these American terminologies, I'm sure other parts of the world, they may have their own plans. If you are self-employed or you're a business owner or you are a full-time content creator like myself, these are the options of retirement plans or pension plans that you can choose. The third one being, uh, like I said, 401k designed for self-employed individuals with no employees except maybe a spouse. Contributions are tax deductible and you can contribute both as an employee and an employer, allowing you to save more. Then there is a fourth one called a simple or simplified employee pension plans are another option 
for the self-employed. So there are so many options that I can choose in order for me to secure my financial future when I'm 65 years old and beyond, especially if I am a person who has like an expensive lifestyle as well, I need to really, really think about my retirement plan. Like I said, my life is very, very simple. So I don't particularly worry about my, when, when I turn 65 someday, because guess what? When I turn 65, I'm gonna turn up because of the plans that I am making. I am busy investing in the future me. That also includes my future financial plans. So that comment, I do appreciate it very, very much, even though again, it was sarcastic, but it had a lot of value. Anyways, guys, we do live in the 21st century. We live in an information technology era. There is no way that if you are thinking of quitting your nine to five, you may not know what to do regarding the future. There is so much information going on in the internet, even on YouTube itself. You can even uh, research or talk to some content creators that are full-time YouTubers and ask them, hey, what about your pension plan or your pension fund or retirement plan or whatever it is that you are may you may be concerned about before you also take the leap of faith to quitting your nine to five. I do not encourage people to quit their nine to fives unless you have a plan. You've got to have a plan, otherwise you are going to struggle on these streets because being a content creator again it is not guaranteed that you are always going to make a predictable income just like your nine to five those things are things that you need to think about before you take that leap of faith i'm repeating it purposely and then the very very last point that i want to make from the same article is invest your savings wisely they diversify your portfolio don't just let your money sit in a savings account invest in a mix of assets stocks bonds and mutual funds that match your risk tolerance and time horizon target date funds if you if you're not sure where to invest consider a targeted date fund these funds automatically adjust the balance of stocks and bonds as you approach retirement age so there is so many things that you can look into uh if you are worried about your pension uh as well as your old age when you're no longer chasing after likes comments and subscribers as well as chasing after going viral because you want to be financially secured someday i know it sounds a little bit funny but it's the reality of being a full-time content creator and right now i am encouraging people in their 40s 50s 60s all the way to their 70s and eight, as long as you're still alive to become a content creator when you become a full-time content creator or you become part-time content creator as long as you have value proposition for your community with the videos that you are going to create go right ahead do not worry about things that you know you can always research and get the right answer so that you make informed decisions